Now let's see how to create an experiment, add data, complete it, and send it for countersigning. First, we create a new experiment, pick a notebook, and select the template we wish to use. Once done, then I can enter a description, and an administrator can also define additional fields appropriate for your company. So here, for example, you may wish to specify experiment goal or target from a standard pick list or from an ontology service and create the experiment. Next, we move on to our aims and methods and type in our aims. I'll just paste in here for speed. And then we can select the SOP we will follow from our library if it's appropriate. Finally, I'll select a predefined phrase to note that I followed the SOP exactly. Next, we'll go to our conclusions and fill those in, again, pasting for speed. We'll come back to the document section in a later video. So at this point, my experiment is finished, and so I can complete it and select my preferred countersigner, which can either be an individual or a group. So if I now switch users to that colleague, they will see an incoming notification. They can open and review the experiment, and when happy, create the final PDF for the experiment, and electronically witness it. If I switch back to my own user account, now I see an inbound notification that my experiment is signed.